It's time for morning manna, finding the peace of God. Lord, I need peace. I got to get some peace of mind concerning this situation. It's the text to talk and the takeaway. Let me define the word peace from a biblical perspective, then I'll give you the text. The word peace has to do with no longer wrestling with God. No longer wrestling with God. When you find peace or when you are no longer going against the will of God, therein lies the definition, the Greek definition of peace. Here's text. Here is Jesus talking to the disciples and he is telling them in John 16, 33, John 16, 33, I have said these things to you that in me, you may have peace. I have said these things to you that in me, you may have peace. How many of you, put it in the chat area, how many of you need to have some peace of mind concerning certain situations? I need a peace of mind concerning this situation, that decision, my health, whatever it is, I need a peace of mind. Remember what I shared with you, the definition is no longer wrestling with the will of God. You can put that definition in the chat area so others can grab it. I want to break this word down to you by using the word peace as an acronym going to use the word peace as an acronym. How do I get peace of mind? Here is the first thing. The peace stands for he prepares a table before you in the presence of his enemies. Come on, Psalms 23. He prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. What does that mean? He's talking to the sheep who are easily disturbed and scattered. They are very nervous bunch. That's what sheep, their nature is that. And when the shepherd says, I'm going to prepare a table before you in the presence of his enemies, that means that you have to be so settled. Remember, remember how you get nervous and one of the nerves that you have in your body goes down into your stomach. And when you get uneasy, you can't eat. And so what the psalmist is saying, that God is going to prepare a table before you. How many of you say, I can eat in front of my enemies? I can eat because I'm going to bring you in such a rest, in such a rest, I'm going to put and make your enemies your footstool that you can eat and dine in front of them without any problems at all. I'm going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. The E stands for the expanse of God. The expanse of God. In Genesis 1, it talks about God said, let there be light. God said, uh, let there going to be a changing or a moving of the firmament, if you will. And that means that there's going to separate uh, the dry line, the dry land from the waters. That he's going to make moon. He's going to make the stars. He's going to make the sun. That's called the firmament. In the book of Genesis, the first chapter, that whole thing is about the Hebrew understanding of the firmament. The firmament has to do with the expanse of God, the galaxy that we see. And the firmament also has to do with a blacksmith hammering out on the anvil what he's doing. In other words, the firmament of God is that God has hammered out all that we see in this great expanse. Now, what does that mean to you? That God has already squared away everything in the expanse of things that he has me. He has me. He's prepared a table before me. He is moving in the expanse of who he is. And that means here is the A for peace. He is the Alpha and Omega. He's the Alpha and Omega. What does that mean? He knows the end from the beginning. He is the end. He is the beginning as well as the end. And in Revelations, it tells me that God knows the expiration dates of what I'm going through. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Therefore, I can have peace because God has me. The C stands for 
He sends the comforter. Come here, John 14. He sends the comforter for me and the counselor that I might be, I might get some counsel and I might be comforted when I have a disturbance because I'm looking for peace in the middle of my storm. I'm looking for peace in the middle of my storm. He's the comforter. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is. He has created the expanse of who he is. He is therefore also prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Here is the last E. From everlasting to everlasting is our God. From everlasting to everlasting is our God. Psalms 90 and 2. What does that tell me? It tells me that God has this. God has this from everlasting to everlasting. There is nothing that is outside of the time of God. And therefore, God's clock has to do with increasing my trust, not my patience. He's not trying your patience. He's growing your trust because he's from everlasting to everlasting. What's your takeaway this morning? Walk in the peace of God today. Walk in the peace of God today because God has you in the middle of this storm. The Lord be with you. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. Share the manna that it can bless somebody else with the peace of God. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning with more morning manna. Bye now.